You know how every company in the world treats AI as a poster child now, forcing it into everything? Well, this trend is unironically succeeding with malware. Yeah, threat actors employ AI to make their attacks even more devastating. So in this video, I'm gonna test the four best antiviruses of 2025, Bitdefender versus Norton versus Total AV versus McAfee to find out which one does the best in this new threat landscape. And whichever one you pick, you can find the best deal for it in the description below. All right, starting with computer security, can these antiviruses hold the fort? Strictly speaking, it's quite easy to see if the antivirus is secure, okay? There are special institutions dedicated to testing anti-malware apps and their scoring methods have proven to be accurate. So looking at the test from AV test and AV comparatives, the two biggest independent auditors, here's what we get. I know, the numbers are soulless and so on, but these tests are not just showing that Bitdefender or Norton are perfect. Yeah, perfect marks are a good start, and if we look at them, all four are ideal, and there's just no difference, which is not accurate at all. For instance, this test doesn't consider that Bitdefender started using machine learning for better identification of malicious behavior or files. Indeed, I ran a test of my own to ensure that I'm fair in this Bitdefender versus Norton versus Total AV versus McAfee comparison. The conditions are as follows. First, the real-time protection is off to let me plant my malware, all 300 files, after which the full scan should detect as much malware as possible. The second test is pretty much the same, but it's the real-time protection that should detect the files as I'm downloading them. Bitdefender was the first on the chopping block, I expected a lot from someone with AI-based pattern recognition and perfect AV test scores, and Bitdefender delivered. Yeah, it caught about 88% of malware with its full system scan and only a little bit less with the RTP. Considering that there were a lot of files that were caught by one method and not the other, the total result with both of those methods utilized is pretty much a perfect 100%. Now, I expected that Norton would give me similar numbers, right? Perfect scores from AV test, remember? But no, Norton's performance left me desiring a little more. While I like it that its scans and RTP gave very similar results, they are similarly below Bitdefender. This is still you know, pretty good, you know, I just, I expected more. Now the same can be said about Total AV. It performs similarly to Norton. And for a provider with a pretty modest set of features, this anti-malware performance is more than I expected. Now I can't say the same about McAfee at all. Now while its scans do well against malware, percentage-wise, its real-time protection seems to have just inconsistency issues. In my test, there were times when it didn't detect any malware files at all, while the manual scan removes over 80% of threats. Let me know if you have an idea why this is happening. I spoke with other experts in the field and by all accounts, it just doesn't make sense. So if you need real-time protection, I can't recommend McAfee. That said, as far as malware detection goes, Bitdefender is clearly on top, followed closely by Norton and Total AV. So if you care, only about raw security and no added features, give those antivirus software choices a try. The discount link is in the description, so that'll make it easy for you, so go use it. Now talking about features, I mean, antiviruses are no longer defined by their scans alone. Still, the scans are the most important basic feature all the best antivirus 2025 options share, but not without differences. For instance, Bitdefender has three different scan options, quick, system, and custom. The last one lets me pick and choose which folders to scan. Norton is pretty similar in this regard. It offers all the same options plus the smart scan. Smart scan combines a quick scan with a network scan and includes file cleanup as well. So consider this a quick health check on your device on top of anti-malware sweeps. As of recently, Norton is also involving AI into malware detection. Now, Total AV actually replicates this scheme except for AI involvement, offering all the same scan variants as Norton. Of course, we've already seen that these two stand side by side in their scan effectiveness. Now, McAfee also has the same types of scans and we've seen that they are effective. Just don't ask McAfee fans about real-time protection issues. Now, while scans protect my device from local threats, the firewall is a feature that monitors online activity for signs of malware or attacks. To tell you the truth, best antivirus for Mac or Windows 11 doesn't really need a separate firewall. Operating systems have their own firewalls and they 
are working well. And this is why Total AV, for instance, doesn't fix what's not broken, and that's why they don't include a firewall of their own. At the same time, Bitdefender, Norton, and McAfee offer additional firewall protection. Norton is the most dedicated here. Its firewall is highly customizable. Now, it's also more or less expected these days that an antivirus would offer a built-in VPN. All four providers here offer a VPN, and for Total AV, Norton, and McAfee, the VPN is at the same price point. Only Bitdefender requires a slightly more expensive plan to get a VPN. And at least when it comes to password management, all four providers have password managers with comparable sets of features. They're great to have if you need an all-in-one solution from your antivirus. All four are capable of saving, generating, and auto-filling passwords, and this bare minimum is more than enough in my eyes. Now, among the useful features, a way to fight against online tracking, that's a very sought after antivirus feature. I know that because I missed it a lot when using Norton. It, it doesn't block trackers, though its safe web feature blocks a lot of malicious traffic. That said, Bitdefender's antivirus, McAfee's web advisor, and Total AV's web shield are capable of all the things Norton does, plus anti-tracker functionality. Now, when it comes to the two next features, dark web monitoring for detecting leaks in my account data and disk cleaner for system optimization, all four providers have them. Really, the only major difference here is naming. Antiviruses just can't avoid one-upping each other, calling the same feature different names. And I really do mean it. Functionally, these features are practically the same. Now, so far, these have been rather common features that most good antivirus choices share. Can't give this comparison a clear winner with only that. Fortunately, there are some unique features that only the best antivirus PC options offer. For instance, Bitdefender has anti-theft. That's a feature that can retrieve data from any stolen device, lock it remotely, locate it if GPS allows it, and even completely wipe it clear. SafePay is also unique to Bitdefender, creating a virtual sandbox environment for payment instances, preventing anyone from tracking or recording the transactions. Norton's SafeCam is also pretty unique in this comparison as well, being an advanced and customizable webcam protection tool. And Cloud Backup makes Norton the only antivirus software here that has reliable cloud storage measures. Even McAfee has a unique feature, a file shredder. Arguably, it's a bit useless for an ordinary user, but if you often keep sensitive documents on your device, File Shredder will get rid of them completely. Still, I don't think you'll ever really seriously need that. All right, only Total AV doesn't really offer additional features on top of a classic loadout, but that's expected after all. It's a simpler, beginner-oriented provider. At the end of the day, Norton and Bitdefender provide the biggest feature variety, and Total AV, even without unique features, has a solid security baseline. So if you want all-encompassing protection, check the link in the description. You can use it to get the provider of your choice with an exclusive discount. And since I did just mention pricing, let's get into the numbers. Are these antiviruses expensive? Traditionally, getting an antivirus is a big expense. But these days, providers like Bitdefender, Norton, or Total AV have affordable long-term plans. Of course, you still have to pick your favorite plan depending on available features. And personally, I prefer to choose the middle option. They tend to have the best price to value balance without overloading beginner users with too much feature variety. All right, talking about great beginner intent, Total AV stands out here as the simplest to grasp. And McAfee is also surprisingly user-friendly with its UI, even if its cost is on the pricier side. If you weren't keeping track, this is how this comparison is going. So Bitdefender is an undisputed best antivirus 2025 option for security and many effective features to boot. Norton does offer more features, ultimately being more versatile while staying complex and configurable. Total AV is practically the best budget option for beginners, and McAfee is the best if you need a simple provider with an effective malware scan. And there you have it. Thanks for watching. Hope you learned what you needed to today, and I'll see you in another video. Thanks.